everybody welcome back to our channel Rebecca Stu and the crew I'm Rebecca I hope you guys are having a great week today I'm going to show you guys how to make this really cute farmhouse country sled using items from the Dollar Tree Dollar General and Hobby Lobby so the supplies I use to create this craft the ones from Dollar Tree are one of these um, little cardboard signs uh, sled signs that they're selling I also use some of this floral wire and some of the Jot brand acrylic black paint. I also use some of this twine and then I use some of the Mod Podge. They have it in the matte and the glossy at Dollar Tree and some of these little red berries. I also use some holly leaves and a garland wire tie. So from Dollar General the only thing I used from there was one of these um, rolls of the buffalo plaid ribbon that cost two dollars and from Hobby Lobby the only thing I used from there was one sheet of this scrapbook paper and it is labeled whitewash planks if you guys wanted to find the same kind. I also used two of these um, rusty bells. I got them for 50% off. So I believe they were like $3.50 for 28 bells. I also used some hot glue, some scissors, a paintbrush, and a pencil to outline the um, pattern of the sled. So let's get started crafting. So the first thing I'm going to do is flip my scrapbook paper over and flip over the sled and just lay that on the scrapbook paper. Then I'm going to just outline the sled here. I'm not gonna take those bottom little runners off. I'm just gonna go around them and then just stencil in the little lines that connect it so I can cut these uh, shapes out. Midnight once again is helping me as you guys can see here. He's always so curious to see what's going on. So once I'm done uh, tracing out the little shape here, I'm just going to cut this out and then I'm gonna make sure that it fits over top of the sled without needing any trimming. And then there's a little bit of glitter on the sled, so I'm just using scissors to scrape off the glitter and then using the Mod Podge to apply the pieces of the wood plank scrapbook paper to the sled. So use generous amounts of um, Mod Podge smooth it out let it dry for a few minutes and then apply another layer of Mod Podge to the top to seal this that way it stays nice for a long time you won't have to worry about it collecting moisture and things like that wrinkling the paper so then I do the exact same thing to the bottom section of the sled here using the Mod Podge all over the sled and then just putting the paper down on the sled now if you want to here um, you could put little dabs of white paint around the corners to make it look like it picked up some snow, but I didn't think it was necessary, so I just left mine the way it was. And then I went ahead and put more Mod Podge on the top of the sled here. So once that was all done, I took the Jot Brand black paint and I just painted the runners of the sled black. And then I also used the black paint to do all of the trim work edges of the sled as well as painting the whole entire back of the sled black as well. I like to have my things with a finished look as much as possible on the front and the back. So this step isn't necessary, but I chose to paint mine black. So once that's all done, you're just gonna go ahead and set that aside to dry. And now we're gonna move on to using this Buffalo plaid ribbon to make a poinsettia. It's really easy. What you're gonna do is cut about seven inches long of ribbon and you're gonna cut six pieces all together. So once I just measure them all together so they're the same length. So once I have all six cut, then what I'm going to do is start fan folding these. I'm gonna show you guys how easy these are to make. Well, actually I'm going to go ahead and trim the corners first so these look like a poinsettia petal. So on the fold, you're gonna to cut towards the edge where the wire trim is at. So do that on the top and the bottom for all six pieces of the ribbon. And this is going to help you form the petals of your poinsettia ribbon here. So this is what it looks like opened up. And like I said, we're going to do that to all six pieces. Once that's done, I'm going to cut a piece of floral wire and just lay that out so it's ready to go. And then this is how you start creating your poinsettia flower. So you just fold it in half so the edges meet. And then you're going to fan fold those edges back towards the center so it looks almost like a bow tie. And then you got your little creases there for the bow. So then I just put that between my first finger and middle finger to hold it together. You can also use like a clothespin or a clip to hold those together. And I'm gonna keep fan folding all of these pieces of ribbon. And then you just lay them on top of each other 
and pinch the centers together. And you're going to do this for all six pieces of the um, ribbon here. So we're working on the last piece and then we're going to tie this together with the floral wire that we already cut. Now don't worry that it's not spread all the way out because we're going to fix it once we have the wire wrapped around this. So I just lay it down on its face or the printed side and then pull that wire tight and give it a couple twists. So make sure your wire is a little bit longer so you can use it to attach it to whatever you're going to attach it to. So now that I've got that done, I'm just going to pull these leaves apart and keep working all the way around until I have a complete circle. Now you also want to maybe bend up the little edges a little bit just to give it more of a flower look. I cut off five berries and glued those to the center just using a hot glue gun and that is our poinsettia flower. I really love the way these turn out and you can make them all different sizes if you want to. So now taking that floral wire, I'm just going to actually tie this poinsettia flower to the runner of the sled over in the corner and then twist that around a few times. If you want to attach a little bit of hot glue under there, you can do that as well. Then I took the wired garland tie and cut that in half and put two, then I folded it in half and just glued that on and then tied two of these rusty bells to the end of some twine. And I wanted it to have like a staggered look when it hangs. So I made sure that I laid one longer and one a little bit shorter and then just tied a knot at the top to make sure that they hung at different lengths. I glued that on underneath of the flower and then attached some twine uh, hanger to the runner. And that is it. This is the whole entire sled completely finished. I am so happy with the way this turned out. You could probably even add like uh, Merry Christmas to the sled and some writing or with stickers and things. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and share. That would be awesome. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this craft. Here are some other videos from our channel you might also enjoy, and I hope you guys have a great week.